What's going on, disappointed Rock Band 4 fans? And with today's announcement of One Direction coming as DLC, I wanted to give my thoughts on these songs. You know, we knew One Direction was coming. I guess I may be underestimated. I thought maybe we'd get one song because we had gotten one song from them before, but we got a four pack from these guys. So we're getting best song ever, Never Enough, Story of My Life, and What Makes You Beautiful. And I have to admit, I don't hate One Direction as much as people like hate Justin Bieber. I don't understand all the hate for these guys. They do write catchy songs and they do write fun songs. And I will say this is going to be a great pack for vocalists and people who love to sing harmonies. I'm personally super excited to see Best Song Ever and uh, Story of My Life. I think Story of My Life, especially on vocals and harmonies, is going to be super fun. I'm really interested to know why they pick Never Enough. It's not really even a single of theirs or a popular song. If you YouTube that song, it doesn't even have a million views. So I don't know why that song got thrown in there. It seems like they could have picked a better song, but for whatever reason, they got that song. It's kind of like what happened with Buck Cherry. If you guys remember Buck Cherry, they got two DLC songs and they were really obscure DLC songs. I don't know why Harmonix picked them. Maybe just the masters were available and the other songs that they're well known for, maybe they weren't available. Or maybe it was too much money to license. But I will say that I'm going to have a full review of these One Direction songs tomorrow on my channel. And I also want people to know that I think the old way that we got DLC and the kind of DLC we got back in the days of Rock Band 1 through 3 are pretty much gone. Like the one thing I love about the past Rock Band games is that they introduced me to bands that I really wasn't familiar with. Like remember the Fratellas, this band you'd never heard of before? And it came out as a three pack and everybody was complaining, oh, this band sucks, never heard of them. And then you play it, you're like, holy crap, this is an amazing band, especially on drums. Like Henriette is a great song. All those songs are great. I remember we got bands like punk rock bands like the Dead Kennedys, Mission to Burma. And, you know, we really don't see that kind of stuff in Rock Band 4 released as DLC yet. You know, we got all these obscure bands back in the day. And, you know, back in the day, they were owned by EA and Viacom and they had a lot more money. And they could really afford to, you know, introduce people to a lot of these bands people didn't really know. And I think this time around, it's not the same. We're not going to be seeing a lot of punk rock or a lot of these obscure metal bands or indie bands we don't know. It's going to be more popular music because that's what sells. And it's going to be a ton of pop music, too, because One Direction, and as I'm sure you've seen in the past, like Justin Bieber, sells incredibly well on the DLC charts. Bands like Motorhead, they don't sell quite as well. I mean, they sell okay, but they don't sell sell like One Direction. And I think this is just a sad state of DLC. You're going to keep seeing more of these kinds of bands. And don't be surprised if you don't really discover a lot of new music through Rock Band because of this. And I think that's the sad part about Rock Band 4. Now, I know we saw the announcement today that Harmonix is going with another publisher for Rock Band 4. It seems like they're kind of ditching Mad Cats. And they've got a new publisher called PDP. I've got a separate video for that. I'm going to be talking about all the details and my opinion on that. You guys can check that out. But I want to know from you, what do you think we're going to see in the future from Rock Band 4 in terms of DLC? Are we going to see more really popular music? Or is it going to be more of these obscure bands that we saw back in Rock Band 1 and 2? Comment below and let me know. And as always, guys, if you want to stay up to date on the latest Rock Band 4 news, Guitar Your Live news, and just know my general thoughts on rhythm gaming, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Take care.